So, uh, what do you think about uh, our camp? You have been here. What do you think about the dancers here in Estonia? Well, the camp is a nice place, really. No, real, really nice place. And it's away from the city, so they can actually focus on dance instead of focus on take class and leave. And then when you leave class, most people don't focus on what they practice in class. So having them out here in the woods and in the, the camp, they can actually uh, focus on that. What was the purpose of your classes? And the purpose of my classes is for you, one, to understand music is deeper than what you hear. Two, to understand you don't need to, you don't need to know the words to make the words sound right, to look right now. You know, you, it's children that you basing your movement on sound, not on what the singer or the rapper said, but more about how they say it, the sound of it, the feeling of it behind it, behind the words. Why people don't understand the feeling of the music usually? Because people are more focused on learning to win battles. Because everybody want to be popular. Everybody want to be who they think is popular, who they think is famous. And, and I tell you this uh, many times, if you if you take away the dance, if you take away the traveling to teach, you take away the battles, you take away the movies with dance, you take away all the things that you can get from dance, we'll be left with no dancers, like a handful. Because many won't dance. There's no reason for them to dance. When you started dancing, how did you think? When I started dancing? I started dancing because I saw, I saw my family go from hating each other and want to kill each other to where music came on. They were laughing and love each other and dancing and partying. So from that, I knew then I want to dance because I saw the joy what music did to them. Why you became a teacher? <laughs> oh, good question. Why I became a teacher? I didn't actually become one. I was forced to become one. It was never my thing to be a teacher. It was my thing to, sh to share, share the love for dance, but it was never my thing to teach. When I first got offered to teach, I said, no, I don't know how. So what I did later was go and watch Stretch and Robin Duntori. I went to watch them teach and assist them in, in the class and learn how to teach. Because making up choreography is not teaching. It's just making up a routine. That's not teaching. It's a different skill, a different way. You got to know how to break a step down to the simplest forms for somebody else to learn it. My message to dancers coming is simple. You should dance and love dance for you, not because of who you saw as popular or who you think is popular or who you think is a legend. You should love it because you love it. You should want to do it because you want to do it. Because at the end of the day, if they stop, you're going to stop because you're just copying them. You have to be yourself in order to be original. So you have to do this because you want to do it. And there should be nothing to stop you.